nice light saying here that should come right through this mud. Now we can see my brother's here. He's my worst competition. We need to get 10,000 pounds on this truck. Oh. There's a swim by the bay. Carp, sheephead, buffalo, and suckers. For most Americans, these bottom feeders have no place in our lakes or on our plates. But there are fishermen who have found opportunity. Every fisherman always wants the big haul. I've been chasing the big haul for my, all my life, and I don't know if that's, that's ever going to come. I had never seemed to get a hold of it, but uh, who does? You always got to, you got something to chase for, though. My dad told me, be a doctor, be a lawyer, don't be a fisherman. Once you get it in your blood, there's nothing else. It's late spring in the upper Midwest, and commercial fishermen continue to endure a difficult season. The unpredictable and erratic weather conditions are an opportunity for some teams to pull together. Point's proven. But for others, this continued stress only proves how far they are apart. chilly out there this morning. We got a truck coming this morning that wants uh, 10,000 pounds of buffalo and 10,000 pounds of carp. So we're going to try and take 10,000 pounds of buffalo out of the pond that we're using. We'll see how that goes. The commercial fishing, you know, is easy. It's getting paid is where it's the hard part. Yeah, you and Travis can go right to the pond. I got to go pick Kelly up. You need to know which companies are shady and won't pay you. I mean, one guy got us for 180000 If you burn me one time, and you'll never get another fish from me. And this driver is the best live fish hauler there is. Come Monday next week, I'll have a check in my hand for the load, which is really nice, because I got a $30,000 credit card bill every month. We got fish in this pond that we've been saving for when the price is right. However, the price isn't right, but they need the fish bad out in New York, so we're gonna take them out to uh, keep the market going out there. Hopefully we got enough buffalo left in the pond to get him what he needs. That's all we can hope for. My brother was by Alma, and behind us we see my brother's truck. Thought I'd go hit one of my favorite spots, but now we can see my brother's here. He, he's my worst competition. Uh, I'm still gonna go look around, but he's probably already got the spot where the fish are done. And that's my own fault, really, that I let him beat me. Oh, if it ain't the wind and the weather, it's my little f***ing brother. So hopefully there'll be a nice bunch of fish in this lake that we're going to and we won't have the problems of tearing up sane like we had last week. Because you gotta keep trying harder and harder when you don't catch fish, I guess, to, to try to make a buck or two. Yeah, we come in here on Monday, we got the net all tore up, ripped up. So hopefully today we can get up above here and catch a nice bunch of fish. Beautiful day. Beautiful day to us is no wind. I know what I'm going into every day when I go out here seining or gill netting. 
I know I stand the chance of having everything just go haywire and come home with, with nothing, but it takes a lot to get me frustrated. I don't even consider it a job. It's more just like a, it's just what, what I am, I guess. I fish. We're gonna look around here a little bit and see what we can see for fish. Shallow. A few boils out there. There's quite a few fish starting right up there where I turned around. Starting to see some? We kicked a couple off over here. I've been fishing with George for, I think it's a little over 10 years. Thinking about maybe we can come off that point and go up. We both think the same pretty much on the on the river. I mean, we never argue. Maybe I got an idea, he's got an idea, and it's all right. Let's go. Let's try. Let's do your idea. Okay. Well, let's do it. Worth a shot. We're gonna go down here and get him. In Marcusen, Jed is pulling his stock pond for the waiting truck bound for New York. If we don't get this order right, they they're gonna go they're gonna go elsewhere for the next load and the next load. So we we need to get 10,000 pounds on this truck. I learned from some of the best there were, and Jed's learned everything I've learned and more. He's young; he needs to learn patience a little more. And, you know, I asked you guys to take these stakes out, Travis. Is there a reason why you didn't do that? Okay, stop pulling, Eddie. Something's wrong. Yeah, I got it freaking all on these stakes that I asked to get taken out. Ain't a big deal. It is. When I asked for something to be done, Yeah. it needs to be done. Yeah, I'm an ass when we're out working and, you know, I need stuff to be done a certain way for it to work. Ain't no 10,000 there. They'll have to keep netting until the quota is met. They're trying to do it the easy way. This is just a, a joke, if you ask me. But it's the way my dad wants to do it, so we'll let him do it that way. He's old. He's set in his ways. It's nice having my dad here, but... If he ain't gonna be with the program, I don't want him around, because it just makes it harder and costs me money. You might have to go that way a little, yeah. You think we need to pick the lead line up? We just gotta keep going all the way around. So sick of your half ass shit. Well, that's what happens when you drag it on shore. Fix it. It's not, it's like your first day. Ooh. What's going on here? You got fish that we've been dragging all along shore. He wants everything to be perfect, and it never is. Nothing's ever perfect. I'm not perfect, he's not perfect. And all you can do is try to do the best you can, and hopefully that's, that's what he'll uh, figure out as he gets older. There's nothing you can do, we ain't, got, we ain't set up for it. You didn't say that last night, did you? You didn't bring any of this? That, that's because you that's, wanted to do I this. I called you last night to see if we needed anything, or what, you know, no. It's cold and cloudy, they, they just kind of stay out in a little deeper water and you can't, it's harder to see them. Mother Nature has a way of throwing you different things to deal with every day. No good. You fish. I like coming back and, and being the guy that, that caught the most fish. I especially like it when I'm out here by myself. If we'd ever stuck together in the beginning when we were true partners, 50% partners, and just stuck with the saying and hit it hard, we'd be in a different place. We'd be, but no, it's always, oh, I'm gonna go be wreck or just didn't show up. 
didn't give a f about me. I see there's some more commercial fishermen coming out here. That would be my brother. He's an idiot. I know if I'd see another fisherman out here, I wouldn't come out here. We lost frickin' so much opportunity already. He knows I'd like to fish with him again. He just can't get over the whole point that he thinks he needs most of the money and that, and he's just a, he's an ass sometimes.